एक तरह से प्रेस फ्रीडम पे एक अटैक है इट इज द इंट्रूजन इन टू द प्राइवेट स्पेस ऑफ मीडिया फ्रेटर्निटी इट इज लाइक लॉकिंग अप ए पार्लियामेंट और एन असेंबली Whatever has happened today uh, is self-explanatory. That government uh, does not want to have uh, that space for journalists where they would work independently and they'd have that space to work together. Uh, what is re really unprofessional and unethical is that what they've done. Uh, there was no need to do it in such a way where you're creating a rift between uh, a fraternity. It would have been better if they would have sent a professional letter to the. Um, press club committee asking them to uh, hasten the process of re-registration or close down operations if re-registration fails. Uh, closing down doors, locking the premises uh, and handing over the, uh, the premises and building to the estates department is uh, self-explanatory that government does not want to have a free space for journalists to work. I think the takeover of the press club was completely funny because when, when the news uh, surfaced, uh, I was like laughing, like because since the inception of the idea of having a press club, uh, there has not been any rival groups or subgroups. It is just the journalists and the idea was to have a professional space where people would come and work under one roof. The closure of any democratic institution is condemnable, reprehensible and it is the intrusion into the uh, private spaces of media fraternity. It is like locking up a parliament or an assembly. It is not it is not an ordinary thing because uh, media is the fourth pillar of democracy. So it is the moral and ethical responsibility of the powers that be that they should uphold the democratic credentials and principles and come forward and deploy their officers and open the gates. Whoever has done it because police has everything with them. There are CCTV cameras installed there. Police and administration knows who has locked up the premises, they can fix the responsibility and open the gates so that these stranded journalists can at least have some space where they can work. Uncivilized tarike se, ek renegade style mein, armed forces ke saath, kuch chand ek uh, jo suspended members bhi hain, wo aaye aur unne ispe zabardasti qabza kiya daylight mein jis din uh, administration ne covid lockdown, uh, weekend lockdown kiya tha, usi din daylight robbery ki tarah, वो आए और हमारे ऑफिस स्टाफ को भी हरास किया और यहाँ पे अब ताला भी लगाया और जो सारे जर्नलिस्ट बेचारे जो काम कर रहे थे दो साल तीन साल से यहाँ जिनके लिए लाउंज बने थे जो अपना वर्क स्टेशन यहाँ से यूज़ कर रहे थे अपनी स्टोरीज फाइल कर रहे थे उनको परेशानी में मुबतला कर दिया तो ये एक ये सिर्फ एग्जाम्पल हमें नाइन्टी में मिली थी नाइन्टी में जब एक रेनिगेट दौर था उस तरह की रेनिगेट स्टाइल में ही ये चीज़ें हुई हैं लेकिन जो सारे जर्नलिस्ट जो बॉडीज़ हैं यहाँ दस जो टॉप की जर्नलिस्ट बॉडीज़ है एटर्स गिल्ड ऑफ इंडिया प्रेस काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया और इसी तरह से जो बाकी मुंबई यूनियन ऑफ जर्नलिस्ट दिल्ली यूनियन ऑफ जर्नलिस्ट उन सब ने हम सब की जो है जो प्रीवियस बॉडी है और जो पुराने जो इसमें लोग हैं जो असली जर्नलिस्ट हैं उनकी हिमायत की है उनका सपोर्ट किया है और हम वापस अपना इंस्टीट्यूशनल कैप्चर होने नहीं देंगे But now, uh, since what happened today, after the authorities took over the entire uh, charge of the press club uh, uh, building and the premises, it seems that the entire thing was orchestrated. But besides that, uh, one thing is also clear that if government says that this is not the intention and this is completely not their plan, 
uh, that'll be clear because uh, the journalist bodies are going to re-register or going to reinitiate the process of re-registration of press club if the authorities really make uh, make things easy for the journalist fraternity it'll be really um clear that it was not orchestrated then but as of now to all of us it seems that they do not want journalists to have uh, a separate space to work